Well, good morning, everybody. It's, uh, oh, eight o'clock in the morning. I've been doing some stuff this morning in, uh, in the house. But, fella called up. Well, didn't call up. Fella sent me a message. Wanted to know a little bit more about the log turner on the bell saw. So I've got my tape measure. <clears throat> We're gonna walk out here and just do a little four or five minute video on how I made mine. Um, pretty simple affair. He liked the way it worked, said it worked better than what he was doing. So, you know, anytime you can make your life on a sawmill easier, you know, you just well off to do it. So, mine is extremely simple. I wish the carriage was back this way, but I'm not gonna crank it back. He'll just have to trying to use his best judgment so the old bell saw of course <laughs> i got some logs up there i just picked up the other day to saw on it but <clears throat> this is a pretty straightforward um operation what i did this here i think is inch and a quarter yes it's inch and a quarter it's an inch and a quarter shaft um i had a bunch of it in the shop so what I did was I turned these two half inch steel plates. They might even be five eighths. I guess I'm a five eighths. Yeah, that's a piece of five eighths plate. So I took a piece of five eighths plate, turned it into a circle that was uh, seven inches. I bored it in the middle, ran that plate through, welded it. And then I, well, actually before I welded it, I bored the bolt pattern onto it. This is an old Jeep rim that was bent. It had a wobble to it. You couldn't balance it, so it always shook. So I took and I cut everything off except for the inner band, and then I cut one section out. <clears throat> that so that when you saw in here and you've got the raw log before you take your slab off, you know, or if you want to make a six by six, you want to have some room here. So oak barrens, uh, red oak, white oak, maple, anything, ash, anything would work. And, uh, of course, I've got the half round track here. This is the old stuff. Um, if you've got this type of track, you've got to put these carriage stops. Because if you don't, when you roll this log forward on the top, the bottom is going in. And if it catches on this lip right here, which mine has an extension so that you can catch a one inch board on it. Uh, most most of your bell saws, the last piece off is going to be two inch because you, you can see an inch board would fall right off. Somebody before me welded these pieces on there, front and back, so that you could do an inch board. Um, I usually don't finish with an inch, but what they used to do is they'd throw an inch board on the back and another inch board in front and dog the front one, and then it would set on here and you could cut it. Um, I always need enough two inch that I just go ahead and make a two inch on the back so but anyway you know this thing's pretty simple um from the actual center of the track out i'm about eight and three quarter inches you know nine inches wouldn't make any difference um and of course when i put this on i didn't really know where i needed it so that's why i've got an extra inch and a half beyond the bolt holes here where i can i can move it in and out an inch or two and i can't move it in much because <laughs> that's froze had the rock from the moisture but uh can't turn it right now no but hit it with a hammer and it'd come right loose um you know there's not a whole lot of clearance back here only about an inch when it's when it's right up by it as far as the elevation you know the top of that bar is about at the bottom of the track you know as far as level when i did it i put it on here and I do have gussets holding them. You can see that piece of half inch plate, or it might be three eighths, I'm not sure. That's a piece of three eighths plate. I got a triangle on each one of them just to take the shock load off of that weld. And uh, <clears throat> so anyway, that's all it is. It's very simple, you know. When you want to turn your log, you just grab it and pick it back. Put a little oil in there, it turns easy. Um, and it's not a lot of expense, you know. This could be a piece of half inch steel. They don't have to be five eighths. Matter of fact, I think that one might be half inch. Yeah, I got half inch on this side, five eighths on this side. 
it's what I had to head laying around that most people won't notice the difference so anyway yeah two old car rims they're 15 inch and uh, just keep the center the distance well we'll go uh, I guess outside of the rim outside of the rim because your offset could be different we're 68 inches here basically a little, little over well it's about five and a half center to center yeah I'd call it five and a half center to center and it seems to work good on 16 footers it doesn't really seem to matter um anyway real simple um yeah hope that helps somebody it's got a bell saw i'm real happy with it i wouldn't change a thing um you know like i say if, when you're first starting leave these channel irons a little long and you can always trim them off later and then that way if you want to drill another set of holes you know if you decide you're not where you want to be you can move stuff around or you could just leave it that length and make another set of blocks and just bore the hole off i got a lot of room here for adjustment so that's a nice thing about making stuff with wood bearings like that you know real simple rugged simple you know we like that so anyway hope you enjoyed um that's going to be it for this video just a quick little thing on the log turn we'll talk to you later hope yeah and don't hesitate to subscribe we'll talk to you later